Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Hi, good. Kevin Daniels, Joey C. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Joey. Thanks for taking the time, man. No, are you kidding? I was super excited about this. I actually first became familiar with hearing your name uh, on What's the Tea with uh, RuPaul and Michelle Visage. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really fun, man. Ru, Ru's fun, great. Yeah. And, uh, that show. It yeah, was such a uh, fun it, interview it, uh, to listen to. You were chatting about your first big break and Modern Family and AJ and the Queen and uh, the kiss you shared yeah. with Rue. I know, right? <laughs> it was wild, man. I was like, I'm, I'm, I got the kiss with Paul. Okay, cool. Yeah. Put that on the, on the bucket list. <laughs> yeah. He seems to really love you. I mean, would you uh, jump at the opportunity to serve as a judge on Drag Race if it became available? I would love that. I, we talked about that on the set. I was like, my, my goal is to get famous enough where I can be a judge on Drag Race. That's all I want to do. Well, well, you made it. I mean, we're here to chat about Not Another Church Movie, and you're taking a lead. Um, You're surrounded by some uh, good company, Tisha Campbell and Vivica Fox, Jamie uh, Fox, uh, Mickey Rourke. Can you tell us a little bit about the film? Oh, man. Tyler Pratt, Lamar Morris, like Jasmine God. The list just goes on and on. Man, the film was so much fun to make. You know, basically, it's like a little parody spoof of uh, basically all of the Tyler Perry films in one. Uh-huh. Yeah, a little, little hour, hour and a half, little, uh, little dreamscape, SNL sketch kind of thing. But it's, it's really, it was really fun to make. We just want people to laugh, have a lot of good time. I play, uh, I play Taylor Harry with the, the uh-huh. silent T, <laughs> and uh, and my dude in the post of the end. It's, 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 it's been, it's been cool, like switching back and forth between the roles and putting on the wigs and the, you know, the, the big dresses and the body suit. But it's fun. I think we got some good jokes. Did you have a favorite character to play, and why is it Beyonce? <laughs> How'd you know? How'd you know it was Beyonce? <laughs> Absolutely, man. When they like, they showed me like that. Uh, you know, I, I just seen Homecoming, and I was watching. I was like, "Oh, that's brilliant!" You know, uh, uh, Tyler comes out. You know, uh, as my dude as, as Beyonce, and I was like, "Well, we got to do this, right? We got to do this list." And, and they, they 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 came up with the, the perfect outfit and the thing, and I was like, "Oh, this is this is fantastic." That was probably the most fun I had on set. That's just my shoot. <laughs> It looks like just laugh after laugh, and it looks like there's some yeah. internet buzz about how Tyler Perry might feel about uh, the film. What are your <laughs> thoughts on that? I mean, I, I think that Tyler, like, ha- having made, like, a billion-dollar empire from some place, from hustling, from nothing, from all of his side shows to where he is now, this is a man to me who has to have a sense of humor, who has to, like, get the joke. You know what I mean? I, I just feel like I feel like he's going he's gonna to take it as flattery. I mean, basically, it's like, we're paying homage to all the, the films that he's made, and like, and you know, you came in and took, you, you can't do that. If, this movie wouldn't be possible without him. That's all I'm saying. You know yeah, I mean, I, mean I, yeah. I noticed that there was a character in the film. If I'm not mistaken, her name is Hopra. Hopra Windfall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my thoughts were, what, what is what is Hopra gonna feel? <laughs> I know. You know, and by the way, I worked with uh, Oprah years ago on uh, this movie called "Our Eyes Are Watching God," yeah. and she is why I was hired. Like. When I tell you this is one of the sweetest, most generous women that you'll ever meet, she looks at you and she makes you feel like you're the only one there. And again, we grew up watching her in our living room. So getting a chance to like to spoof and make fun and, you know, uh, and, to, and to, to pay homage to her was actually really, really kind of fun. Uh, it, it was great. I mean, I, and, and nothing's mean spirited. Nothing's like, you know, it's all like, it's like, oh, look, it, look at, here's another, here's another, uh, icon we've, gr- we've grown up with. And, you know, she's been, she's been, Saturday Night Live sketched in, you know, in Living Color sketched for years. So I, I think, I think she definitely has been. So yeah, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like just um, in the nature of spoofing somebody, there is like sincere love and appreciation for what they do to begin with. One hundred percent. Like again, you can't have it without them. You know, it's like it's like I like to think of it like as a roast. You know, it's like you've reached a certain milestone and a pinnacle in your career, and people get up and they crack some jokes about you and everybody else around you. That's all I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It looks like a super fun ride. What is it like taking uh, the lead on a film like this? Man, I, I got to say, I, I, I didn't know what to expect. I got a call from my agent's mom. Uh, I got a call from my agent, and his mom is one of the producers on the film. And, uh, and they, they had, like, pitched me, and they, and they were like, hey, do you want to read this? Tell us what you think. And I, and I read it, and it made me laugh. And I, I met with Johnny Mack and uh, James Cummings on the, the Zoom, and they were like, hey, you want to come back to that? And I was like, sure. And I was like, all right, I gotta, I'm got. i playing two different characters. It's like the leader of the thing. I got to make sure that I'm on point. So I watched all the movies, did all my research, and tried to come up with something that I thought would be 
you know, fun and, and pay homage and respect. Taylor, he's on his uh, God-given mission to inspire the community. I also feel like that kind of translates yeah. to real life. This right. might be kind of a dumb question, right? But a lot of us aren't super informed about how the writer's strike can affect people in show business. What was your experience like? Oh, yeah. Well, man, like, for the first... I, I've, I've been around long enough that I've, I've experienced two writer's strikes. Mm -hmm. And I remember the, the very first one back in, like, 2002, three. I had done a pilot for NBC, and it was uh, with, with the Fairley Brothers, and I was really excited. We were going to, like, my first lead in a TV pilot. And then we were on a strike, and the show didn't get picked up. And I was like, okay. And I found myself working at the Sheep Kick Factory. And I was like, well, I guess this is where we are today. You know, and, and then this, net, this past writer's strike, um, I was on a, I was on the reboot of Frasier, mm. and our last day of shooting was the first day of the writer's strike. And it was a long eight months, man. People were really like hurting. And, you know, I, I was very fortunate that I was able to like, I, there were still a couple of jobs I was able to do because of the waivers and stuff, but, but still it's, 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 it's been really hard. And like to watch the business kind of like, you know, uh, compress and people just, you know, being out of work for that long, it's, it's hard on a lot of, a lot of the, the families and like the, our crew members and stuff. So it's like, man, but now I think it's, it's cool to like, to get back out there and give people a chance to laugh at something. Because it's been a hard couple of years, man. The pandemic, the, the strike, it's like, ooh. So I, I, I was really happy that, like, you know, just, just be able to get to do a comedy and try to, try to, you know, crack as many jokes as we can, make as many smiles and faces as we can. Yeah, I feel like, and just kind of seeing your Instagram, uh, you were pretty active about the writer's strike. And then you see kind of the, yeah. the change of uh, the tide where things just become a little bit more enjoyable. Um, what's your handle in case yeah. people want to keep up with you? Uh, it's Kevin Daniels 27 and uh, the 27 is my group number from Julia. So I, I always kind of put that around with me somewhere, but it's K uh, Kevin Daniels 27 is my Instagram handle. And I'm pretty active on that. I like to talk, I talk to my fans and do the thing. It's just, you know, it's easier. Yeah. I also noticed that uh, notanothertchurchmovie.com uh, is a website. It looks like you can yeah. even register to win tickets there. You can register to win tickets. Uh, I think you can even buy tickets. They got trailers. They're supposed to be putting some behind-the-scenes footage down there and a couple of, like, uh, candid interviews from on set. Yeah, the the trailer is hilarious. I can't wait to see it. I'm going to go today. Uh, I do want to oh, point out the the casting. Uh, Mickey Rourke as the devil was hilarious. I thought yeah. you just casted the real <laughs> the, the real life devil there. <laughs> they just called the real devil. Like, right? <laughs> if you're going to make the devil a white man, why wouldn't you do Mickey Rourke? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Did you did you have fun filming? It, it looked like a, just a blast in the trailer. I really, I had so much. I mean, it was it was hot. We were in Savannah, so there was a lot of sweating. But we decided to keep that in the movie. But, I, I, but yeah, I, I, I had fun, man. It was, it was I worked with some really talented, like A list caliber stars, and and, they, and no one came with any egos. Everyone was just kind of like, hey, we're here because a lot of people were friends with Johnny Mac. You know, so there was a lot of favors yeah. called in, but we were just we were just there having a good time, felt like a kid in drama school again. Yeah, you're a joy, and I'm excited to see you uh, on the big screen um I, I heard a rumor that you're from texas i'm not sure that that's entirely true uh, uh, any ties that to is Lone true, true 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 it is i am that is true 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 man my, my mom is in Houston, texas as we speak i was just there uh i grew up in houston i went to high school in dallas moved back to houston went to school in new york but that's where my, that's where my home is texas texas that's why uh the, dressed up as beyonce it was just perfect because you, <laughs> you, you get it hey man H-Town girl, baby, H-Town girl. <laughs> okay, oh. um, once again, we have um, notanotherchurchmovie.com and your Instagram handle again uh, before we part ways here. Kevin Daniels, 27. Thank you so much for being here today. Do you have any parting oh. words for uh, the listeners today? No, man, thank, thank you guys. Just check it out. We're open now, Mother's Day weekend. Bring your family, have a good laugh, you know, enjoy it. It's going to be fun. Thank you again so much for being on the show. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Don't walk, run. Kevin Daniels stars in Not Another Church Movie in theaters now.